Hey everyone, Shabbygamer here and welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Now it's been a few weeks since I've done one of these videos, I've been a bit ill for a couple of weeks, I've not recorded anything at all, so this is literally the first game I'm playing in like two weeks, I've not played anything, so I feel like the best way of doing this would be to maybe just go a little bit easier and maybe just go back with my old Warlock deck. You can never fail that, well, I'm going to really curse myself here, but that Warlock deck was so good, it was so easy to win. But I feel like it'd be a nice fun game. Zoo deck, of course it's Prince Kalasef base, so the idea is to get Kalasef out there as early as possible. Get the plus one one for everything on the board. And then you're laughing them for the entire game. And of course this deck does involve, I believe it's just all 30 minions, there's no spells whatsoever. If you've not seen it, I've used it quite a lot recently and it's been the most successful deck I've ever used. So I'm laughing with it really, it's, um, it's been very very good to me. And I'm hoping it's going to be even better here today. Just get my mojo back Gul'dan. right as a hunter, which is well, generally quite fun. tricky. I can see. Well, okay. I win. Nice. Nice. That was a nice, easy game to get back in. I don't even know what happened there. What happened there? Yeah. I got 10 gold for it. Not, I, I had five cards down the bottom. What? I have no idea what just happened. I really haven't got a clue what just happened. But there we go. That's our first win of the episode. Whey! Nice. I can't, I, I, I've not seen that happen before. It didn't even, literally didn't even come up with the, um, didn't even come up with the, uh, the mulligan or anything. It just literally just said, you win. You uh, that was weird, that it. was. Your right. Shall be mine. So, of course, you want to push really hard to get the, um, to get the Kalasef early on. Which is definitely doable with the, uh, with the four card mulligan, especially with the coin as well. Oh, we haven't got it though. Hmm. We haven't got it, so uh, that's that's annoying. You got a thirty percent chance of getting it first time round, so it does a. It's not guaranteed by any stretch of the imagination. Right, so what do we want to go for early on? Do we want to go for an early Void Walker or a early Flame Imp? A Flame Imp will cause him a lot of problems, I think. But he would be able to kill the Flame Imp straight away, so I think I'm going to go Void Walker just to try and distract him. The flame, flame Imp to kill straight away using his bore. And then using these uh, fire blasts, we have to kill that straight away. So it's, you know, a bit pointless putting that down. You won't really get an advantage out of it. It does free damage to me. Cynic's Rombo's is quite good, isn't it? Ah, this is good. Get plus one attack. I feel like I might just go for the flame in. And then I'm also going to go for this. So it means that if he does try and kill me with the Swampoos, it's going to kill him as well. That's my plan. And then we'll hit him in the face. And we'll just keep holding on for Kalasef. Uh, Darkshire Counterman into Saranac Chain Gang is a really strong. Yeah, that works, huh? Yeah, Dark, um, Darkshire Counterman into Saranac Chain Gang is a really strong play next time. Right, so I can get some advantage out of this thing, can't I? Do I want to tap? There's no point. I could tap see if I can get Kalasef, although I'm pretty low on oh, no, I'm not pretty low on health on my really, but really don't want to take Borkun. That's no, gonna kill me, isn't it? So let's just hit him in the face. I'll drop the Darkshire Councilman. <laughs> then next turn I can put down the Saranite Chain Gang. That counts as two things, so he'll go up to three attack then. So in a pretty strong position at the moment, unless he's got a big spell to clear one of these off. Like he can only take out the Flame Imp next turn with his Wolf Rider. <laughs> Is he going to go for that or is he going to go straight for the face maybe? He's going to go... He's going to take out the flame imp. Okay, with his uh, hero power. No, he's not. Oh, okay. That might have been a bit of a mistake there by him because now I'm going to protect that flame imp with the Saranac Chain Gang. Like so. Now I can take that out. Is it worth doing? No, because he's going to end up killing all these trying to take out this anyway. So I'm just going to hit him in the face. I'm just going to keep going for it now. So I say he's gonna have to wipe out his own board by taking out my Saranite Chain Gang. He's got a spell. He's gonna sheep that. Okay, I thought that might happen. But it means that's uh, one big spell out the way now. There you go. Yeah, he's just cleaning his own board up now, just sorting that out. All right, so I can now. Um... Well, this this could be cheeky, couldn't it? Actually. This could be very cheeky. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to drop you there. And then I'm going 
I'm going to drop you there, and I'm actually going to give. I'm going to give the uh, the sheep plus one more return. And again, just hit him in the face. I should have took this out when you it's restoring. Oh, it's battle cry. Okay, no, it doesn't matter now. It's battle cry restore two health. It doesn't do any more health afterwards. Add a random mage spell to your hand. Okay. Yep, she's taken that out. Do what you want, mate. Do what you want. So we'll go for the imp. I've got nothing I can put down next turn. Oh, I've got another Saranite chain gang. Nice. Uh, let's put that down. Or do, no, let's tap first. Let's do that. Okay, let's put Saranite chain gang down. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I think we're in a good position here. I think we're in a good position. I think we should win this one now. We've got full ball control. Unless he's got something special in the wing, like a fireball pyroblast. Pyroblast is 10 mana anyway, so he needs something big now because we do have leaf on the board, do we? Yeah, we've got 9 on the board, he's got 8. So he needs to put down a taunt or kill one of my minions in with whatever card he's got with Someday 4 mana. I'll be just like you. And he's not going to do it, is he? He's got 2 mana left to kill some. Ah! He does, he has a frost bolt, okay. Although it's not going to help him, I must admit, because I have a bone mare. Shall I, shall I really be a dick about No, I can't. I can't, actually. No, I can't. Um, yeah. So let's go. Boom. Boom. Then bone mare. Yeah. And then boom. There we go. Two wins in a row now. Nice. Granted, the first one to give me like so there you go. Up to rank 20 now? There we go. Shield bearer. Oh, we've got shield bearer's footlocker. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing, but yeah. So I think 20 is the first, um, the first barrier, isn't it? So we can't drop any lower than 20. I think last month we did get to about 17, didn't we? We're doing quite well with this, uh, Zulek. Uh, this Zoo deck, not Zulek. This Zoo deck. So we did actually pretty well, and, uh, I mean, it is a very, very strong deck, as you can see. If I can win with it, then anyone can. If you were a really good Hearthstone player, you would absolutely destroy the ladder with this deck. I reckon if I put enough time and effort into it, I could get this deck up to the highest level of these, which would be too difficult to use. Right, again, we're going to go strong on the mulligan, get rid of everything, just trying to get Prince Kalaseth. Prince Kalaseth with a coin first turn is the, the, the best play you can possibly have. That is a terrible, terrible, terrible hand. That is an awful, awful hand, that is. The last thing you want is patches as well. He's got Prince Malkazar to get five extra legendaries. Thing is, there might not be any use. I might, I've, I've got Prince Malkazar, if you will. cast a spell. I want to cast a spell. Right, so we've got the Void Walker or we've got patches. Do we just want to push this really hard early on and go Void Walker, Why do you coin, know? He's probably going to kill Patches off with his hero power straight away, to be honest, but you never know. Abyssal Enforcer's pretty good, um, but later on, as is Bone Mare, very good later on. Uh, Sound like Chain Gang's obviously really good. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Oh, Cobalt Scalebane is a really good card. Alright, we'll tap at this point in time. Get a flame in for next turn. Just trying to push. We didn't see Kalasef at all last game. And of course, we haven't seen him yet in our first eight cards. Nice to meet you. Three enemy targets. Okay. Interesting. Um, so I can go Flame Imp and I can go Firefly and then I can also go for Flame Elemental. That would have been a really good turn if I had the uh, Darkshire Councilman on the board. Been an even better turn if I'd had a Kalaseth already. But that gives me a good what's that, 6 damage on the board. Oh wow that is a strong early card. Is that strong so early? There's Prince Kelaseth, right. Let's knock Kelaseth down straight away. Oh, and then tap. Right, there we go. We've got some good stuff now. Stronger Firefly, right. 
We do need to kill this off, and I think the only way to do it is to use the imp. And then we'll get to get we had to take that out early on because that was pretty damn strong. That was. So next turn we could go Saranite Chain Gang and Firefly. Flame Guys is absolutely fine because we're not that interested in that to be honest, are we? Teleseth has done his use already. Right, so do we push strong or... Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go Firefly. Let's go Saranite Chain Gang. Just to protect our Firefly. Now we're in control. The scale bane next turn will be fantastic as well. Scale bane with possessed villager maybe. Ooh, we've got Arthas. I am must be one of these um, Malkazar didgeridoos. Oh, look at that flame imp. That's really good as well. But I think oh, I can do both, can't I? I can go scale bane. Let's go scale bane flame imp. Should we do a bit of ball clearance or should we just kill him? Free him me! Free hit me! My sword with that. Job done. There we go. Scalebane, what are you gonna do? Please let me one the Oh, it's one of the taunts, okay. I was hoping it weren't gonna be one of the taunts, but that's fine. Because I don't know if he's got enough to kill that. Unless he's got a spell in his hand, which he probably has done being a mage. Would not surprise me if he had a spell there, but. Freeze any character damaged by this minion. Okay. Oh, we just put a secret down. That could be interesting. Right, we're going to have to play this one carefully then. Because the secret could be ice block. It could be any of those sort of things. It could be the one where you attack one of their creatures. It does certain stuff to you. Um, it could be a summon one. So maybe we summon the fire flame elemental, which is a crappier minion. Should we try that? So Let's do that. Just see if it's... I don't know if they've got anything like that. Secret wise. No, it's not to do with that. Okay. Hit him in the face with the 1-1. One, one. That's not the secret either. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to... We're going to take out his... And then we're going to hit him in the face. Big. And then... I think it's going to be like... Give a friendly name to the one attack. Keep your peace. Don't we tap? We can tap. We've got enough to do. Right. Right. Well, unless he's got something immense with one, essentially. He needs a big, big board clear a board. A big big board clearance here. That's what he needs. Has he got it? He's, he's hoping for it. He's trying to get the random mage spell in his hand. Is that death rattle though? That's death rattle. Okay. He's going to take out that, but it's still not going to be enough, mate. Oh, yeah. He's going to take that out. Okay. The wise move. Yeah, he's got nothing. Ah, I bet he's got ice block, hasn't he? I bet he's got bloody ice block. Okay. Despicable Dreadlord to me is the perfect card here. Or is it? I don't really want to kill that because the random spell could be very, very dangerous. Right. I bet he's going to be immune. He's got ice block, I bet, hasn't he? So let's go for... So right, yeah. Let's go for this. Let's go four damage. Three damage. One damage. That's not going to kill him, is it? It's going to be ice block. Oh, it has. Okay. I thought, what spell did he... What um, secret did he have there? I've got no idea what secret he had there. I was... Assuming he had Ice Block, which normally makes you immune and gives you 8 armor. But there we go. That's 3 wins, I suppose, if you look at it that way. 3 <laughs> wins out of 3. Uh, of course, the first one was a gimme anyway. The guy just quit as soon as we got in there. But that's how good the Zoo deck is. And like I said before, um, it's such an easy one to play. If I can play it, then anybody can. Because if you've watched a lot of my Halfstone videos, you know I'm absolutely awful at this game. So there you go. Anyway, we're going to finish our things off there. Of course, if you have enjoyed this video, please do hit the like and, of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Play by the chain, the one, two, three.